My name is Dave Peterson. I'm a meteorologist in the Marine Meteorology Division here in Monterey, California. Uh, my job description uh, varies widely. We have a lot of opportunity in this lab, so I work uh, investigating severe weather hazards that impact naval operations and ports worldwide. I also do a lot of work with uh, satellite data and observing various weather patterns. And uh, we also work um, directly with uh, atmospheric constituents such as dust, smoke, and pollution that would obscure visibility and impact naval weapon systems. One of my primary focuses is what's called severe weather port studies. And our lab for several decades has been working to investigate ports around the world where the Navy would pull in uh, to determine what types of weather hazards would affect operations in those ports and when ships would need to leave port or stay in port uh, depending on what conditions were present. So tropical cyclones, as we know from this past year in the southeast, has been a major hazard. Storm surge impacts can affect ships. It costs a lot of time, money, and, and energy to get those ships out of port before a storm. So knowing when, what conditions you would have to initiate a sortie like that, or can a ship stay in port and be safe, that's the information we're trying to provide to, to the fleet. The effort began back in the 1970s. Uh, there were some incidents where ships were damaged due to severe weather. And that initiated the effort uh, to keep ships safe in ports. And it slowly grew to include uh, all areas that the Navy is operating in worldwide. So modern delivery systems, there's, uh, we're in an, an age of, of big data, right? There's all sorts of data sources that the Navy is using uh, worldwide. Port information is just one layer in that data. So there are various ways now to deliver that to the fleet in a, in a modern way where you can overlay weather information, the port guides, uh, various tactical maps all in one system. We're trying to make sure that information on ports as well as weather are included in those systems. The primary reason for having this information on a ship is very simple. The Navy is pulling into a port, you have to know what the conditions are in that port and you have to know what the hazards are. And these are either weather hazards or hazards uh, related to where a ship would dock or underwater shipwrecks, things like that are all included. What, what makes this lab unique is just the team atmosphere. Our group works together very well. We leverage each other's strengths um, in order to produce scientific results. So if one person is good at one thing and one is at another, we can combine that and produce a quality result um, in a reasonable amount of time. 